Okay, you and Brian were involved in a documentary. Did you get to see the Vince documentary yet? Yeah, yeah, I saw it last night. All right, first thoughts on it. What did, did you think it was good? Um, I think be, given that I, I I heard from friends that didn't know anything about Vince McMahon, and I watched with people who knew limited about Vince McMahon, um, and were just, I think, a combination of fascinated and appalled and thought that the subject matter blew them away but because they didn't know this much and it's all when it's all thrown together in two like to me it's like wow this is all thrown together in two hours um there's a lot of stuff over the last 40 years it's yeah and, it, and when it was over it was like man he looked really really bad sometimes like i don't you know i don't like you know uh get the full gist of him because there's so much and it's for so long but when you throw it all together and there's plenty of other things that weren't out there um, you know, and in two hours, again, there's a lot of stuff that could go in, um, they could go into more detail, but they didn't have time. Um, they did a lot of, you know, stuff. If you watch like dark side, obviously a lot of the stuff was repeated, but this wasn't meant for the people who watch dark side. This was meant for a different audience. Um, you know, from a factual historical standpoint, I found minor, I, I found like, you know, minor problems, but very, very minor. I mean, the only one that was, um, you know, there was the one minor one, I guess, was was acting like, you know, he took Jim Barnett's TV, you know, in Georgia. <laughs> and that that was just not that was just completely incorrect. You know, I mean, Jim Barnett had been gone from Georgia for years and was actually involved in the other end. But, right. um, you know, aside from, you know, I mean, he was he was already with he was a, a director of operations for WWE at the time that deal went down or WWF. But, um, you know, I mean, so so as far as factual, I mean, I look at that stuff from a factual standpoint. And it's like they got the facts right. There's there's a lot of different things there. Yeah, you know, in the the Montreal thing, um, there's always there's a lot of you know the Montreal thing is is not something you can do in six minutes because it's a more complicated story. And that one, I think, got um, you know, and I don't really think Dark Side did a great job on the Montreal thing to begin with. No. Um, so so that one, I think, was uh, was a little bit weaker. Um, you know, overall, um, I mean, it was I, I wasn't unhappy with with it. And I saw people who were, again, people who didn't know the story. I think if no, you know, watching it, it was kind of like, well, I mean, it's not like it's not like there was anything there that that I didn't know, you know, or or anything like that. That was new. It was, um, you know, I, I don't think anything, you know, was unfair. I thought Brian did great on it. I thought Brian was really, really strong on the show. Um Russo hit and miss and some of the others were from old tapes. And um, I think, you know, um, um, you know, Brandon Thurston and um, Brian Solomon, I thought were very good. So, I mean, I think that, but it was like all reporters um, and, um, you know, and, and I think, yeah, not very little well, talent, I guess. Yeah. Well, well, talent. well, a, a lot of talent wanted nothing to do with it. Yeah. Um, I mean, that was a, a big part of it. I mean, the list, the list of talent they wanted, I don't have every name confirmed, but there was a very big list of talent they wanted that they didn't get. I think that there was a lot of people who did not trust that Vince will never come back and absolutely yeah. didn't wanted nothing to do with this. Um, do, do you think there big, was anything big related, related to the plane ride from hell and how that turned out to where they may have lost some trust in, in, with the, with the producers? Uh, yes, I do think so. Um, that, that scared a lot. The plane, the way the plane ride from hell story came scared a lot of people that they had done stuff with who got so much heat from being involved in it that again, like just were kind of like, I, maybe I shouldn't, you know, be on, um, you know, this, this, these shows. So, um, that was some of it and others, I mean, you could just tell others were, were people who, you know, I mean, who I know and, and clearly, you know, didn't want to be involved in something that, that they perceived would be that negative to Vince because they didn't they like Vince yeah. or even if they don't like Vince um, they may need Vince and they did not trust the idea that, you know, number one, if you say really bad things about Vince, the current regime, because Stephanie's his daughter might hold it against you. Or again, the feeling that, that, Hey, you never know if Vince will be back and uh, you don't want to burn that bridge either. You don't, or not so much burn the bridge because you can never really burn a bridge with Vince, but um, you know, get him mad you know you don't want to make vince mad there's no upside in that to a lot of people who are wrestlers and or around wrestling what do you think about the latest piece from the wall street journal the most aggregated comment was, was vince saying that you know he left too early and took some bad advice yeah 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 back. so i checked around on that and that's absolutely accurate um 
he definitely wants to come back. And there's people who are very much, um, I mean, I, I, again, even people who I know that are, that are, are, are tight with Vince and really never thought he would leave. And they, they're pretty much saying he can't come back. You know, it's just like, it, there's just too much that will happen if he comes back. I think there's a fear of a stock price, a fear of like sponsors may have looked the other way if he had never left, but bringing him back, I think that there's a real fear about sponsors because him leaving kind of indicted him and kind of brought uh, plausibility and, and, and stuff to the stories. You know, they could just say, ah, it's, you know, rumors and we don't really know and it's not like whatever. But when he left over it, now he wants to come back um, on these type of stories in 2022. You know, I think that there's a lot of uh, fear. And, you know, also a lot of people are much happier that he's gone. I think that that's the other part of it. So I I uh, think if he come if he finds a way to come back, there's going to be a lot more leaks of his behavior that come out. Not only that, yeah, but you know, again, the thing that's the most interesting, and I don't have the answer, but boy, boy, oh boy, as you know, you know, before on the the previous ones, and even more today, is people in wrestling speculating like, okay, who are those? Yeah, you know, how, the timing of everything. It's like this doc comes out. It's on the same day. The Vince story is is about to break, you know, as far as him wanting to come back. And then new stories come out, which almost seems like, okay, somebody who really knows and knows Vince wants to come back is trying to throw out more stuff to make sure he can't. And who is, you know, who is that person? And, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a fascinating thing. I don't have an answer. Everyone can speculate. But um, and people will and have. That's actually what I've been hearing all day is people who were speculating who was who's the person that or, you know, that that is um, doing this at this time. So um, it's I mean, I'm sure I I'm not sure it will ever come out, but um, it, it's a very interesting subject. And what do you think me, of- I've been and I've been getting a lot of stuff from a lot of people regarding WWE in the last uh, 24, 48 hours. I mean, just. Different people with different stories and things like that. Nothing stuff you can with. report on in the Observer. No, no, nah. no. I mean, it's it's no, not at all, not at all. But, <laughs> but there's but there's like a lot of um, there's a lot of people who who would I'm I'm sure like uh, stuff out based you know on on different people right now, not just and not just WWE. Yeah, but but from WWE right now, definitely interesting. What did you think about Russo's comment about he thinks that Vince is like doing as much as he could without getting in trouble right now in, in, in WWE? I mean, I mean, um, I don't think so. I mean, just everything that I hear. I mean, is he talking to Stephanie and Triple H? I'm sure he is. I'm sure they talk on the phone. I'm sure he like may suggest things. But I mean, as far as being overt, as far as like it's a different product. I mean, you can tell um you know and again it's a different mentality people are being hired that vince would never hire people are not being fired regularly as as was happening under vince now there are people who would be let go who vince would not have brought back who are there so ultimately it is it is not vince now again like i said does he talk to them and do they listen to him i'm sure i'm sure that but i mean as far as does he have a lot of power um i mean you know there, there's always the power when your daughter's in charge right yeah, so there's there, there's some. Yeah. Um, I, my just sort of take on on the documentary in of itself, I thought it was a little lazy by using all the dark side stuff so heavy because the dark side stuff is not actual like documentary. It's like sort of drama, docudrama. So I thought that the mood of the documentary when they were telling the straightforward story was good but then when they intermixed all that dark side footage then it looked a little odd with the you know how they do it with the acted scenes and stuff yeah 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 no i i didn't i didn't think the acted scenes in this thing probably were the right way to do it either and there were they were definitely trying to shoehorn as many things from the dark side series as they could which i thought was a little forced as well And, and and by doing so by trying to force so much in there they didn't get a chance to really go heavily into some of the stuff that perhaps uh, needed more time. But, you know, when you look at it, most of those stories, you know, when you're talking about the history of WWE or the history of Vince, I mean, they did get a lot of stuff. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There's, I mean, there, there really is so many stories There, there's some that didn't, um, that wasn't, uh, as strong as it could have been because dark side never did it. Um, you know, and again, and those would be the weaker, the weaker subjects that they didn't go into or they barely went into. Yeah. So it was very much a compilation of, you know, dark side with a little bit of other, you know, with you know, dark side and, and, you know, up to date comments by me, Brian and, uh, Brandon Vince Russo and, um, and, uh, you know, Brian Solomon. I mean, that's yeah. really what it was. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, uh, based on what you saw, do you think the Netflix version uh, of the Vince thing is going to be similar? Do you think it's going to, no, uh, I do be... not think it'll be similar. No, no, okay. not at all. The Netflix, uh, you know, again, it's a net, the Netflix is a WWE production. So yeah. right there, that tells you it's not going to be similar. I mean, they may go into stuff. Um, you know, they certainly did not shy away from the subjects that were on the, the 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 show last night. You know, I mean, when they had me in, I mean, we discussed pretty much every one of those things. But in the final product, yeah, will will they, they do that? There? Will they do that in the end? You know, have and they they have obviously a lot more people, including Vince. You know, in in you know Vince Vince did sit downs for them and others people who will you know, in the end, try to explain why those things aren't true or not important or whatever. I mean, Vince, I presume that Vince and WWE will get the last word on all of those subjects and the tone will be uh, different, but I don't think, I mean, and Vince even told the Netflix people, you know, don't run, I don't think he wanted them to run away from his stories. And I think maybe he wanted a chance to, to address them, you Mm -hmm. know? So I think it'd be a very, very, very different. Um, Yeah. 